This training material is the property of Accessible Tech Planet. Use of this material is restricted and permission must be sought before use. Do not sell or reproduce in any format without the permission of Accessible Tech Planet. Lesson 5 Hello Tech Lovers! I want to strongly believe that you've been enjoying the lessons so far. And it's my joy welcoming you to another lesson. Yes, we are advancing. This is lesson 5. In our previous lesson, we've learned how we can identify our operating system and we've taken a quick look at our keyboard. By now, I want to believe that you know your keyboard very well. You can touch any key on it and identify what each and every one of them can do because we're not going to be talking about the keyboard anymore. What we're going to be doing right now is to start working. But as we work, of course, we'll be making use of those keys. And I believe that will help you to familiarize yourselves with them. So, what are we doing today? Today we are talking about things that are very necessary so that we can, you know, advance in a better way when it comes to computer training. What are those things? We're talking about desktops. We're talking about start screen, or if you like, call it search screen and we're talking about tax bar. I repeat, we're talking about the desktop, we're talking about the search screen or stats screen, or you can call it stats windows, and the tax bar. These three things are very important because as we're working, we'll be making use of them repeatedly. Hence, it is essential that you know what they are. So, let's start from the desktop. The desktop on your computer PC is that software component that accommodates shortcuts of programs folders and it can even accommodate document or if you like call it files it's a hard folder where you're supposed to place shortcuts to your programs or your apps and if you like you can store document on it but I want to advise, please, it is very advisable that you don't store a document on your desktop because it makes your system slow down when it comes to booting. So, professionally, it is just good to keep shortcut to programs, applications, and files on your desktop. To access the desktop, you can do the following. One, by pressing Windows plus M. So I'll do that on this computer right now. Windows M, desktop, folder view, list view, recycle bit, one of 27. 
To move the items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. You see that immediately I pressed Windows M. You heard desktop. Now we are on desktop. So, I can start scrolling with the up and down arrow to move between the shortcuts or the folders that we have on the desktop. Adobe Reader 9, 2 of 27. This is the second item, Adobe Reader 9. That is definitely a shortcut to an application. Casper B3, 8 of 27. That's another one. Casper B Secure Connection, 9 of 27. That's another application. Tops 530 signed, 19 of 27. This is a folder on the desktop. Play Master, 13 of 27. This is a shortcut to an application called Vain Master. VLC Media Player, 14 of 27. This is a shortcut of Windows VLC, as VLC Media Player. It's an application you can use to play music. And that's all. But I want to let you know something. How do you move when you are on the desktop? Like how do you move through the items, one after the other? Now, I want you to picture a book. Let me just say a booklet. You know it contains different pages. So, as you navigate on one page, when you are done on it, you open to another page. That's the way you move on the desktop. So I'm going to press Windows plus M again to access my desktop. Windows M desktop folder view list. Right now I'm on the desktop. Now the first page is automatically open, so I can start scrolling down with my up. Play Master and down. 13 of VLC Media Player 14 of 27. Play, uh, recycle, uh, recycle bin 1 of 27. So this is Recycle Bin. Recycle Bin is also. Um, a shortcut to a folder is a system folder. Adobe Reader 9, 2 of 27. Let's keep moving. Casper B3, 8 of 27. Don't forget, I'm using my down arrow. Casper B Secure Connection, 9 of 27. Tops 530 signed, 19 of 20. VL. So, VLC is the last thing here. That means that page has been exhausted. So if I want to open the next page, I'm going to press my right arrow once. JFW Gold Wave Scripts 22 of 27. This is an application that I pasted on the desktop. Like I told you, your desktop can also, you know, host files. You can put your files there you can put your document you can put music there but it is not advisable you do it because by the time they get you know uh, they get to a state of multiple it's gonna affect your system so as i press the right arrow to open the next page i'll be pressing my up arrow to you know um read it Total audio MP3 converter 3, 12 of 27. That's another one. Request for letter of transfer, 25 of 27. Good. This is a document. Okay. I put all of these things there so that you and I can explore what the desktop can do. Shop for supplies HP Color Laser Jet MFPM 178M181. 
That's another document. HP Color Laser Jet MFPN 100. That's another document. Remote packages and iSight IDX 3.1. That's the software. Norton installation files 24 of 27. That's a folder. And at the press of the upper row, I can't hear anything again. So that means that page has been exhausted. So I'll open another page by pressing the right arrow again. NVDA 10 of 27. This is a shortcut to an application so i'm gonna press the down array now instead of using the up arrow i hope you are following the sequence microsoft edge shortcut 23 of 27 that's another one let's go new folder 16 of 27 this is a folder this pc shortcut 26 of 27 that's the shortcut to a program called this pc gold wave 5 of 27 that's the gold web shortcut. FS Reader 3.0, 4 of 27. That's another shortcut for an application. WinRAR 15 of 27. That's also a shortcut for an application. And that page is over again because I press my down arrow and I'm not hear, hearing anything. So to open another page, if we still have FS see. WinRAR 15 of 27. Okay. So I'm going to press my right arrow again. New folder 2, 17 of 27. Then use my up arrow. 8 Occupancho, 20 of 27. Now I can't hear anything again by pressing the up arrow. So I'll press the right arrow again. Classroom, 21 of 27. Then keep pressing the down arrow. I can't hear anything again so I'm gonna press the right arrow again and uh, new folder to classroom 21 of 27 so that's 21 of 27 so I can't hear anything again that's the end of everything on the desktop now, you might want to ask me, why is it that uh, we can't hear anything because it says 21 of 27. So that means that all of those other things are hidden. Yes, they are not visible. So that's why you cannot hear them. Okay. And that's why I will always advise people, don't get your desktop too much, you know, clustered so that you don't have hidden items or at the end of the day start to have your system hanging or booting very slow all right so another method you can cycle through everything you have on the desktop is to press ctrl plus home and that takes you to and when uh, are 50 to the top of everything not selected recycle bin 1 of 27 good so recycle bin is the first thing and you can now start to press your right arrow just your right arrow only to cycle through everything Norton installation files 24 of 27 NVDA 10 of 27 JAWS 2021 set 8 occupancial classroom you know so you can Go on and oh, on. Recycle bin and one of twenty Norton installation files twenty four of twenty recycle. And you are going to, you know, see everything. So if you try that method, it doesn't work for you. You can always use the first method. Then another method you can locate what is on the desktop is by pressing the first alphabet. Now let's say I am looking for this PC. I'm going to press alphabet T till I hear this PC. It is possible that if you press it the first time, you will not hear it. Yes, if you have more than one item on the desktop that starts with T, you can press it once and hear this PC. So let's try it. T, total audio MP3 converter 3, 12 of 27. 
you can see that's total audio mp3 converter and i'm looking for this pc so that means i have more than one item starting with t so i'll press it again t talks 539 19 of 27 that's not what i'm looking for i'll press it again t this pc shortcut 26 of 27 good here i am on the this pc shortcut if i want to open this program right now i'll just go ahead and open it but that's another topic let's just wait um, for the next lesson where we're going to learn opening and closing programs so that's all about desktop and how you can move from one item or the other when you are on it don't forget the keyboard shortcut to open the desktop is by pressing windows plus m and if that is not working for you you can press windows plus d they do the same thing yes if you press windows plus m it's going to take you to your desktop if you press windows plus d it will also take you to your desktop in fact windows plus d is the appropriate shortcut that will take you to your desktop so let me Press Windows D now and see if that will take us to the desktop. Windows D folder view list view this PC shortcut 26 of 27. That's it. We're right on the desktop. So let's go to set screen or if you like you want to call it start windows or if you like you call it um, start menu whatever you want to call it. Now on Windows 10, when you press your Windows key, you hear something like this. Search box edit, type of text. Search box edit, all right? So on computer we say set screen. Yes, on computer you hear start windows. On some computers too, you will hear start menu. But on Windows 10, majorly, you will hear search box edit or you can hear search screen all right now the search screen is where you can search for anything on the computer be it document be it application you know you can search for it by either pressing the up and down arrow or you use the first or second alphabet for instance if i'm looking for this pc if i type the first few alphabet like just two of them you're going to hear this pc th this pc desktop app good i just press th and you can hear jaws saying this pc all right so if i want to activate this pc i'll just go ahead and open it you can also use it to look for documents let me press escape and go out of escape it. desktop core input so let me press my windows key again search box edit type of text yeah let me look for a document that i have somewhere m y window my e my report dot docs microsoft word document my report dot docs microsoft word document so that's a document that i have saved somewhere it doesn't matter where that document is once you type it on the search screen or the start screen or the search windows you're just going to get it and you can open it you know from here in order to do anything maybe you want to edit or you want to read yeah you can do anything so the search screen or the start screen is what gives you the opportunity to search for anything on the PC, be it program, be it application, be it document, be it music. You can search for anything. If I know a particular music and I want to play it, all right, but I don't want to go to the folder where that music is, I can get it with the aid of the search screen. So let me press escape. Escape desktop. Let's search another thing. Search box edit type of text. 
Let me type Alawuye. A L A L A alarms and clock trusted W Alawuye phone six dot M P three play now. That's it. Alawuye six dot M P three. All right. Let's say Alawuye is not what I'm looking for. When you type the few letters, you can also use your um, up and down arrow to check the results all right so if i'm looking for a folder called document let's try that escape desktop escape and i press search box edit type of text then i press d d o disk cleanup desktop app add or remove programs system settings good this is disk cleanup all right this is not what i'm looking for i'm looking for documents so i can scroll with my down arrow do accent features system settings that's not what i'm looking for find results and settings themes and related settings system mm -hmm. see organization or find results and folders downloads file folder documents file folder good that's what i'm looking for so sometimes when you type the few letters that begins what you're looking for and you do not hear it spoken aloud by jobs it doesn't really mean that it is not there it is being displayed but because you've not scrolled there you know you would not hear that thing being spoken by jobs most especially when you have multiple things okay that has that letters you have typed it, it will happen that way so that is the function of the start screen all right or the search screen remember to access the search screen or the start screen on windows 10 you need to press the windows key same on windows 7 same on windows 8 same on windows 8.1 when you press the Windows key, you can search for anything on your computer and get it opened. All right. So we are now moving to the tax bar. Now, when you hear task, that means something to be done. Yeah, a task, something you want to accomplish. Now, bar, of course, picture your anger. Instead of you putting your clothes in your bag, for easy access, you can just hang it on your anger. Anytime you are going out, you just go there, pick it up, wear it, and start going to, you know, your occasion or your ceremony. That's the picture I can give you regarding the tax bar, all right? It's a software uh, environment on your PC where you can pin or hang shortcuts to programs. All right, it's just like this the desktop, but the difference is until you pin something on it, you can't find it there. All right, and by default, some things are pinned. On the tax bar already so all of these things is to enable you to have easy access to your files and programs on computer to access the tax bar you press Windows plus T Windows T task bar Microsoft Edge button to activate press space bar all right that's the tax bar and the first thing that has been pinned on it by default, this is by default, is Microsoft Edge. To move to another one, you can press the same Windows key shortcuts. That's Windows plus T. Windows T, Microsoft Edge button, File Explorer button. That's File Explorer, if I do it again. Windows T, Store button. Store, if I do it again. Windows T, Dropbox 25 GB button. That's Dropbox, if I do it again. Windows T, HP Orbit button. That's HP Home. Windows T, Excel 2016 button. That's Excel. Windows T, Word 2016 button. 
That's World 2016. Windows T, JAWS 2021, one running window button menu. That's JAWS. Windows T, Microsoft Edge button. And we are back on the first item, which is Microsoft Edge. All right. At the activation of the tax bar, if you don't want to keep pressing the Windows T, Windows T, Windows T to move from one task to another, you can be using your left and right arrow. File Explorer button. I just press my right arrow, so I'll go back. Microsoft Edge button. Okay, I just press the left arrow to go back, so I'll be moving forward with my right arrow. File Explorer button. That's it. Store button. Store. Dropbox 25 GB button. Dropbox. HP Orbit button. HP. Excel 2016 button. Excel. Word 2016 button. Word 2016. JAWS 2021 one running window button menu. That's JAWS. Microsoft Edge button. And I'm back on Microsoft Edge. Okay. Just by pressing the right arrow. But should in case you you know, went too far. File Explorer button. Yeah, like if I'm looking for Microsoft Edge button. Microsoft Edge, and I'm on File Explorer button. File Explorer. So I'll just press my left arrow, and that will take me back to Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge button. Yes. So once you are on any of this uh, program, you can open it and start working on it all right there is a way you can also pin programs on the tax bar by yourself but we'll get there as we progress in the lessons before us so i want to believe that you have enjoyed today's lesson where we have talked about the desktop the set screen and the tax bar. Have for yourself a better day ahead.